Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use all of the Max for Live patches that I've included in the Dub Connect project to control pretty much anything in Ableton. So the first thing we want to do is uh, start up the Synapse app and bind a skeleton to yourself. And then I've got open here uh, the Dub Connect project, but I've deleted pretty much everything out of it. So all I have is this uh, simpler here with a shark tooth wave and a MIDI note controlling it. So the first patch I'll show you is the uh, Max Connect dial, which I showed in the other video. So let's drop one of those in, and let's have the uh, left hand's uh, Y position, uh, let's have that control the LFO amount. Uh, so we set that to be the left hand's Y, and then we'll map it to the LFO amount here. And you can see our hand is controlling that dial. And we're controlling the LFO amount there. Uh, there's some controls in this Max Connect dial. So you can see here uh, that it has my position, and I can set a minimum and maximum uh, distance in, in millimeters uh, for what it's looking at. So, for example, I could have it looking at a much smaller area uh, from negative uh, 100 millimeters to 100. And this is uh, body relative to my torso. So now you can see it's a much smaller area here. I don't have to move my hand as much to move the whole dial. And we can hear that here. And another control we have is we can change how much we are, uh, the control that we're mapping to. So say I, I don't want to have the LFO rate go all the way down to zero when my hand is at the bottom. Say I want it to go down to 10 at minimum. So I can change the min out here to 10. And then I'll, I'll check this custom box here to uh, keep that from being overridden next time I load the project up. And then you can see if I start the note again. Even when my hand is all the way down, there's still some LFO. And then if I wanted to flip it so that the LFO rate is low when my hand is up and high when my hand is down, and I just flip the min and max here. So I make the min 100 and the max negative 100. And then we can see the results here. So the next one I'll show you here is the uh, max connect event. So let's delete that dial out of there. We can shrink the simpler. So the max connect event allows you to uh, take uh, directional information from your joint. So if you hit your hand up or forward or to the side and use that to drive events in uh, Ableton. So let's drop in the uh, Max Connect event. And let's have it so that the when you hit your left hand up, it uh, toggles the note on and off. So we'll do left hand, we'll leave it on up. Uh, and we can see when we do it, it makes that toggle button light up. So let's uh, map that to the note on off. So we'll click map from there. And then we want this to toggle, so let's, uh, let's click the toggle target button here. Now you can see when I hit my hand up, it turns on and off the note. Uh, and there's another thing you can do with this is if you don't want to toggle uh, a value and you instead want to set one, we can uh, do that as well. So let's turn off toggle target, and let's change the map to uh, the note in this max note dial here. So we'll map it there, and let's set the value to um, 44. It's just a MIDI note. Uh, so let's turn the note on. It's playing that low note, and then we wait our hand up. I'll change it to a different note. Now there's a uh, something related to the Max Connect event called the uh, Max Connect Double event. So let's drop one of those in. So that's just like the uh, Max Connect event, except for it is looking for uh, two actions at the same time. So, for example, you could have it 
when you hit both hands outwards like a conductor. So let's let's do that. Let's use your uh, left hand to the left and your right hand to the right at the same time. And we'll have that toggle the note on and off. So we'll click map and click uh, the toggle there. Uh, we'll turn on toggle target. And we're going to leave it here so it's if both of these events happen within 500 milliseconds of each other, it causes the note to toggle. So let's do that here. So there you go. And you can uh, adjust that timing window to be uh, whatever you want it to be to suit your needs. Okay. So now let's look at the... Uh, Something related to that is the Max Connect Tuner. So that is for the Max Connect event. So let's let's hook one of those up again. So left hand up will toggle the note on and off. Uh, so right now the way that it is uh, tuned by default is after uh, you need to move your hand uh, 150 centimeters, 150 millimeters in a certain direction to cause that event to happen. But we can change that tuning uh, to be longer or shorter. So let's change it to be a little longer uh, and let's set that value. And now if I just do a little hit, it doesn't, it doesn't target it, toggle it anymore. I need to move further to cause it to happen. So that'll allow you to tune uh, what the Max Connect event is looking for. So those are all of the Connect controls. Uh, I also made some little helper objects uh, to allow you to use to control certain things in Max. So one that we've been using this whole time is the Max Note Dial. So what this is is a uh, a little dial that controls a MIDI note. It's always spitting out a MIDI note. So let's uh, let's delete the one we have here and drop in a new one. It's up in the MIDI effects, uh, max MIDI effects, and with the project, it's max note dial. So the way this works is uh, you can turn it on and off, and it's playing a note. You can uh, change what the base note of the scale is. So let's set it to, uh, say, G2. And then these uh, marks here are uh, two octave scale that you can uh, use. Uh, so this dial is playing the notes in that scale. So right now we have it on a major triad, so let's turn it on. We can also set that to like a minor triad. Uh, we can have a chromatic scale, which, which is every note in the scale. There are a lot of options here. You can, and you can also just put your own custom uh, scale in. So you can click any box you want, and now it's going to play only those notes in the scale. So if you were to hook up a Max Connect dial to this note control here, you could use your joint positions to control many notes. The next thing we'll look at is the uh, Max Clip Launcher. So I have these clips here. Me something. But unfortunately we can't uh, use the Max Connect event to launch these clips. You can't map a uh, Max object to launch clips. So I made a little helper object called the Max Clip Launcher. So let's drop that in here. And we'll set it on this track to launch that clip I just launched. So when I click this big button here, me something. it launches the clip. So then we can put a Max Connect event in. We'll set it to left hand up. And we'll map it to the button. Me something. And now, whenever I... Uh, oh, and we have to... So we have it mapped to this button here. We want to set the value of this button to 1, which activates it. So now, whenever I hit my left hand up, me something. it'll trigger the clip. So the last thing I want to show you is the max and button. So what this allows you to do is have two different buttons controlling a single button. 
So let me drop one in here, and I will map it to uh, this note on here. So what this does is, this note will only be on when both of these inputs are set to true. So I use this in the Dub Connect project to have uh, sort of two ways of controlling the note. One was I had a, a master switch, which the note was only on when I had hit both hands out, but also I only had the note on when my hand was above a certain amount. But I didn't want my, the note to be on if I hadn't turned it on if my hand was above a certain amount. So that's why I created this AND button. So let me uh, put this together here and show you how to use that. So I create a double event with my right hand going right and my left hand going left. And I want to toggle the target there, and I'll map that to input 1. And so this is my master control. And then I made a max connect dial, which is mapped to input 2. And I have that on my left hand's Y position. And my hand has to be above my torso to set that to true. So now you can see that my hand goes up and down and the note stays off, but if I activate it, now my, uh, now my hand doesn't control it anymore. So there you go. With these tools, you should be able to create some really neat stuff. Head over to synapseconnects.tumblr.com to download them. I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks.